Alright you guys, what's going on? Welcome back to a brand new video and before this video starts, I just want to let you guys know I am not telling you guys to go and do this. I'm just showing you and explaining to you guys how to do this and also I want to give a huge shout out to Ron for helping me make this video. Everyone go subscribe to him right now. He's very underrated and he really deserves more people. Um, but yeah, also make sure you guys use my supporting critter code. It's uprising underscore dash beast with a Z at the end and also go follow my social medias, my Twitter and my Instagram. Links are down below in the description. Alright guys, so like I said in the intro, basically what we're going to be going over is how modded guns did get into the game and why they're in the game and how people are getting the schematics to craft modded guns like from a water, from like all the modded guns in the game. Um, Ron's going to be basically showing the explanation of how people do get the modded guns in the game. So I'm going to let him just talk about it. Um, but yeah, if you guys do enjoy this video, make sure you guys do drop a like and subscribe notifications and also go subscribe to Ron's channel. He does very good videos. I'll leave his link first thing in the description. So Ron, you could um, you start letting them know. Do your explanation. Alright. Well, guys, before I like start my explanation, um, don't do it. What I'm going to say, do not do it. I feel like you can get banned. I know people who have been banned from doing this, so just don't do what I'm going to tell you guys. Um, but basically, how people mod their schematics, it's actually really easy. And it's not even like going into like the codes and coding in a schematic, like maybe like messing around with the codes. Basically, all they do is they email Epic asking for a change on their gun. So like, let's, let's just talk about like the Bullet Chain Hydra. The Bullet Chain Hydra is a gun, it's a 106 Hydra, and it has a Founder's Revolt perk on it. Basically, what that crafter did, and actually there's only one of those in the game, I believe, as of right now. But basically, what that crafter did was he will email Epic with um, two of his guns, and one was the guns, one of the guns were a Hydra, and the other one was a Founder's Revolt. So he emailed Epic asking for a change, and what I mean by change, I mean like change on the ore. So, for example, he had an Obsidian, and he basically asked um, Epic, can I have a change, because I accidentally made an Obsidian. Can you put it Shadow Shard instead? And he did that with the same thing with the Founder's Revolt. And that's how um, eventually they came back. And he actually lost his Founder's Revolt schematic. But then instead came up with a Bullet Chain Hydra with that um, Bullet Chain to a nearby enemy perk. And that's how people are doing it. And just like the jack o launchers I don't really know how like the jack o launchers work as it can only be one ore, which is Obsidian or Bright Core. But I feel like there's another way with the jackal launchers that are making people to get the new nature jacko and the water jacko. Because as you guys know, there's already a new water jacko um, crafter. So I don't know how the crafter did it with that. But as I said, I do know um, a crafter who crafts four 121 guns, and that's a drumroll, bobcat, hacksaw, and grave digger, and all on one account. And basically, all the crafter did was email Epic with um, a changes on all four of those guns and there actually he did try the jack o launcher and it did not work sadly but um he tried it with all those guns and he actually got all four of those guns modded 121 shadow shard and that's really basically how the crafter does it or how these people do it and that's why there's more of them in the game because i mean it's just a little weird how more of these schematics are coming because it's more like i feel like there's a glitch with epic I mean, there is a schematic that was modded into the game that I believe it was banned, which is the eight perk siege breakers. Um, I actually have a picture of the the actual like the original schematic of it. If it was 130, and if it was 130, it would have been um, 14 perks, I believe, which is insane. And um, also, guys, two perk, three perk guns are not modded. Just everybody to know that right now, they are not modded. They are legacy. Um, same thing with uh, six perk vendor tech guns guys. These are not modded guns So if anybody's sit going around saying they are modded, they are not modded um, And like I said before the two perk and three perk guns are as well not modded So, so yeah, basically you guys like like you said with the jackal launcher like we're not sure exactly what they said to epic All we know is that they do email them um, and like yeah, like we do not know like how they like said it, but um however they did they somehow got the gun to be modded but we're also going to be talking about some other prices of modded guns so we're going to get straight into that 
all right guys so like i said before we can get into the next part of the video what we just talked about we do we do not want you guys to go out and do that we're just explaining to it so we're not like convincing anyone to do it so we're, we're just like showing you guys how they got in the game but anyways we're going to go over some prices of modded guns so you guys do not overpay for modded guns that are not worth um as much as people are trying to sell them for uh, so Ron, which gun do you want to go over for um, first? I'm gonna start off with the you know those freaking Argon assault rifles, those nature ones, guys. Do not pr like people are pricing them at like two thousand, one thousand sunbeam. I can buy one for easily four hundred sunbeam. That's one. All right, people are just overpricing them, guys. Do not like overprice on guns that like people have. Like when I trade, as you guys know, I have a lot of modded guns. Um, every time somebody wants me to overpay for a gun, I will not do it just for the fact that I know. There's another person in the game who most likely has that gun. I mean, yes, there is a small amount of guns that no one else has, such as the 47 Shadow Grave, but I mean, like, I don't know. Just don't overpay on guns that there's more to. And, and there's a crafter for them, which is crazy. The crafter actually sells them, I believe, for like $175 a piece. And just sells them on gameplay, so. Yeah, and the water jackal launcher with the crafters, people think, how, do you want to go over that one? Alright, yeah, so basically, guys, there is a new crafter, and, um, he wasn't as smart, like, if he, like, shot the, um, the newer ones, and then kept, like, the 20 out of 20 ones, the price would still have been, like, a little better, they would have been, like, at least 3,000 sunbeam, and maybe have crafted more, but I know people with 20 water jackals that are 20 hours running. I mean, you can buy them for 500 sunbeam, I was actually about to buy a water jackal today, no, yesterday, for 500 sunbeam. The prices are like terrible right now with modded guns as the more of them are coming because like epic kind of needs to fix that because you know mm -hmm. it's a little dumb but i mean yeah. yeah like they need to fix that and fix the prices the crafters of the modded guns they need to fix them yep and so let's talk about the nature jackal launcher so how much all right guys yeah yeah go on uh so how much like should that really be worth as a per like personal price, the crafters are smart with them. They're not being too many crafted. Like as you guys can see, they're more crafted. They would probably be like the level as the OG Legacy Water Jackals used to be, which was like 8K something. But the crafters are smart with them. I mean, the prices aren't the best. I feel like it's too much for them. But I mean, I feel like the prices for a 20 out of 20 Nature Jackal should be roughly 15 to 17,000 something. Just for the fact that the prices right now, as yes, there is two crafters for them, and that's why I feel like pricing them at like a 17 to 15 or 15 to 17 thousand sunbeam, because the, yes, like I said, there are two crafters. They are smart with it, but the fact that there is two crafters, and eventually one can just bulk craft them, which is basically craft a bunch of modded guns. So I feel like that's a good price for them as of right now. But when there's more crafted, the price is gonna decrease. So. Yeah, you said there was two crafters, right? For the nature. Yeah, I do feel like yeah. there's two crafters because the um, if you look at, for example, there's a picture going around with one, and the nature is in the middle, but in other videos I've seen the nature is on the top, so it's not like you know there's yeah, this is not too. like a push the video. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's like, like the same like with the, there is. Yeah, just yeah. like with the water one, um, different like stuff on it. Yeah, it's just weird. I don't know. I don't know how yeah. like the elemented jack. I heard it's an energy jackal. Actually, I'm not sure about it. Yeah, um, yeah, there is, there is. I've seen it. I've seen is, pictures yeah. of it, and I've seen a video of it. There is a energy jackal launcher, but um, I think there's only one of them. I uh, like that I've heard of. I mostly mean, use the crafter for it because if yeah. it's you know, mm -hmm. just can't doesn't come out the cut like that. Or It'll probably be out soon, like in a week or something. Less than a week, I'd say. Yeah. Um, but yeah, is there another gun you want to go over, or do you think that's good? Um, probably just the 121s one, like guns as well. Um, yeah. the only 121 gun that I can say that is actually extremely rare, as the crafters are smart with them, is the crafter I know, which is the 121 drummer one, and there's actually a, a four perk uh, whisper that's 121 shadow shard. Um, yeah. I believe I've been in like group chats with this crafter. Um, he used to craft in three perk, which was a legacy, but um, I think he changed him to four perk. So the only two rare 121 guns that I believe are actually rare 
are those two guns. And yes, there is the Hacksaws and Bobcats, but like I do, like as I said, I do know the crafter for those, and he, I do believe he's gonna bulk craft them, which is mm -hmm. you know craft a bunch of them. But the only two 121 guns that I can say are actually extremely rare as of right now are those or any um 121 gun that isn't like god roll just like the 121 blazer i can show it to you um, let me get out of my storage real quick um because most crafters already make them god roll and they usually craft less god roll ones than um i mean they, they usually craft less non god roll ones than god roll ones so let me show it to you right here it's 121 shadow oh yeah I just see it's non god roll but the, the craft already crafted them god roll so this one's yeah more of a one of a kind type thing than the rest so like more mm -hmm. anything that's like non god roll that's the 121 is usually rarer than the, the god roll ones so. all right um i think we could talk more about the 121s in a separate video but ho hopefully you guys did enjoy um us going over the explanation of how modded guns dig into the game and also go over some pri we are we also went over some prices i can't even talk right now but yeah if you guys did enjoy that make sure you guys do drop a like and subscribe to notifications if you guys are new and like i said go subscribe to ron go check his channel out he makes very good videos and you guys can trade with him also and I'll see you guys on the next video.